D.C. residents of Adams Morgan have complained for years about noise, crowds, crime, and other problems. Everyone seems to agree something must be done. But as Mike Kaneen reports, just how to do that remains up for debate. Mike joins us now live in studio with an update. I know it's a problem. It's a great neighborhood. Brings in a lot of money. It's noisy and rowdy. And very passionate residents who yeah. have a lot of opinions yeah. on how to solve this problem. The district's Alcoholic Beverage Control Board must soon make a decision about ending, extending, or amending a, a moratorium that restricts the number of liquor licenses in Adams Morgan and the types of businesses trying to open shop there. And today, the ABC board got an earful from all sides. I just don't recognize my neighborhood anymore. It just went from a civilized area to a total chaos. The Alcoholic Beverage Control Board's Adams Morgan Moratorium bans nightclubs in the neighborhood, and it restricts the number of liquor licenses for bars and restaurants. But residents say many businesses are operating as de facto nightclubs. The crowds regularly overconsume alcohol, scream and shout at each other, play loud music, litter, damage property, and urinate and vomit wherever is most convenient. They require a battalion of police to keep them from committing random mayhem. And this disturbance of the peace continues until 4 a.m every single weekend night. Set to expire this summer, many want the moratorium to be extended five years, as is. We already have 50% of Adams Morgan has alcohol-related businesses in it. How much more do you need in the neighborhood? But others argue the moratorium is not helping. Meanwhile, they say, other D.C. neighborhoods are developing and thriving. Relaxing the moratorium allows for more business. And so businesses come in, possibly can help displace the old businesses which are causing these problems. But another group of residents has suggested a middle ground. Continue the moratorium on bars and nightclubs, but allow for new restaurants in Adams Morgan. Restaurants providing food and foot traffic and contributing to the economy in Adams Morgan can be a positive thing for our community. No matter what decision the board makes, all of these residents seem to agree the district government must better enforce D.C. law. It would be effective, more effective if this board came down harder on the violators. Is that, is that what you're saying? Now, following this hearing, the ABC board will deliberate and must make a decision by July 12th when that Adams Morgan moratorium is set to expire. And Morris, the board is still accepting written public comment through Friday. Passionate crowd, Mike. 